The St. Lawrence is a rich ecosystem with a wealth of biological diversity. It is home to numerous species, including tiny organisms that form the base of the food chain. These species feed a wide range of animals, from small fish to some of the largest marine mammals, which is why it's important to protect them through conservation measures. Whales are vital to maintaining the ecosystem's balance. They consume small prey and, through their waste, release nutrients back into the ecosystem. These nutrients will be consumed by plankton, which regenerates the base of the food chain and allows organisms of all sizes to feed. Once hunted, some marine mammals now have declining populations and are protected under Canada's Species at Risk Act. This includes blue whales and fin whales that visit the St. Lawrence, especially in the summer, in search for food, and the beluga, which lives there year-round. The blue whale is the largest animal to ever live on Earth. The global population of blue whales is estimated to be between 5,000 and 15,000. In the estuary and Gulf of St. Lawrence, there are about 250 individuals, mainly seen during the summer feeding season. Blue whales are drawn to the St. Lawrence during the summer to feed on krill, consuming up to 16 tons of these tiny crustaceans each day. The fin whale is the second largest mammal on Earth, after the blue whale. Also known as the greyhound of the seas, the fin whale is known for its speed. Fin whales also feed on large amounts of krill, as well as small fish. The global population of fin whales isn't precisely known, but about 80,000 are thought to live in the North Atlantic, with only around 300 visiting the estuary and the Gulf of St. Lawrence. The beluga is the only cetacean that resides year-round in the estuary, where it feeds, mates, and gives birth. The St. Lawrence estuary beluga population is small and separated from other beluga populations in the Arctic Ocean. The global beluga population is estimated to be over 200,000 individuals, in the St. Lawrence estuary, however, it's about 1,850 individuals, with a yearly decline of around 1% of the population since 2000. Belugas are social animals, living in groups of up to several dozens of individuals. Their wide range of vocalizations has earned them the nickname Canaries of the Sea. They eat various invertebrates and fish including redfish, capelin, herring, sandlance, and marine worms. Despite the adoption of measures to aid the recovery of belugas, blue whales, and fin whales, these species still face threats from limited food sources, ship collisions, and disruptions caused by increased marine traffic and observation activities at sea. For endangered species, every conservation effort counts. The loss of even a single individual can significantly impact the population's survival and ability to recover. This is why Fisheries and Oceans Canada designates and protects critical habitats, sets safe distances for marine mammals, and collaborates with partners to promote sustainable fishing practices and the adoption of voluntary measures to reduce risks related to marine transportation. Additional measures are being developed by Fisheries and Oceans Canada to improve the protection of marine mammals and their prey. 
by protecting the species at the base of the food chain and whales, we can preserve the St. Lawrence's richness for current and future generations. <laughs>